What is going on, YouTube fam? Welcome back to yet another high adventure video. Today, I am doing something a little bit off the beating path. We are going to try to make ourselves a primitive spear out of the head of a gar. I've had this idea for about a year now, and I just haven't gone out and given it a try. So today, we do. You guys know how we do it on this channel. Always a little bit out of the ordinary, thinking outside of the box. Uh, I don't even know if this is going to work or not, but I have the plan right up in here. It sounds cool. It looks cool up here. We just actually have to go and make it happen, which is always the most difficult part. We start the day by visiting my good friend, Ethan, the owner of Lake World Bait Shop. He actually right back here. See all that right back there? bunch of bamboo that he said anytime I want to come get some bamboo I'm more than welcome to come down and cut some so we have a machete somewhere good old Gerber machete we're gonna cut us some bamboo we're gonna get us a little fresh herring because Gar love that fresh herring actually Gar pretty much like any cut bait but you now let's make sure he's got bait oh yeah good we got loads of bait holy cow the bait's pretty heavy this side of the uh, lake this time of year, so not too terribly worried about that. You know, there's one item I always forget when I come out here, and it's ice. I always get out to the lake and I don't have ice. Good, he's got ice. Perfect. Let's go see how Ethan's doing. Micah. What's up, man? Oh, man. Nothing much, man. How are you doing? I'm good. Bad you, sir. I'm here to steal some of your bamboo. Okay. And then I need a dozen herring. You want them in the bag? Yes, please. Right. And that might be it. Actually, let me look at your hooks really quickly. Okay. There's a fire somewhere because it's smoky all over the place out there. Really? That might be right. Might be burning one of the islands out there. Oh wait, they burn the islands? Yeah, they do that occasionally, like uh, Spence's Island or Goat Island. They do like some controlled burns out there. Oh really? Yeah. That makes sense. I went out to an island last year and it was all burnt up and I thought it got struck by lightning or somebody's fire got out of control. Yeah. So. They do that on purpose. Oh. Yeah. Control burns out here. Oh cool. It's just like to keep the vegetation down and everything like that? That and it uh, helps with the trees on the island, helps with the underbrush. It's actually one of the best things you can do. Oh really? For an area. Oh. So, like, I had no idea. A lot of places in low country, you know, all the uh, big pine farms that you control burns for miles. Oh. Yeah. So it doesn't kill the big trees then? It just like, it just kills all the little stuff, like all the undergrowth and everything like that? Right, but if, when all that burns and it falls to the ground, it fertilizes and also comes back up greener. Right, oh, okay. Well, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, cool. I have no idea. Dude, you have Slim Jims actually? Yeah, man. I'm gonna steal probably two. There we go. Yeah, you control burn down there. Every deer and turkey for miles will be uh, right in there. In the area that just got burned? Yep. Really? Yeah, all the little green spouts coming up, they're eating those. Oh. Do they do, what, is it this time of year? Do they do it all year long? What? Mostly in the spring and summer. Oh, okay. Sometimes in the fall, but mostly So, because turkey hunting's in the spring, right? Correct. So, you want to look for maybe places like that then? Correct. Oh, yeah. okay. Cool. <sighs> a, little, a little thick at the base? Yeah, a little bit thick. Yeah, probably something kind of like this. Maybe a little bit thicker that I can, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be terribly long, but if I get like six feet long or so, and I'll, I'll probably just whack a few down just to, and then bring them with me down there. That's cool. Oh yeah, there's a good one right there. I might take that one. Almost through. I know, right? Dude, this stuff is great fish cover. Yeah. Let's see. Maybe right about here. There we go. That might be a good piece right there, ladies and gentlemen. Good spear. Don't have a lot of room to swing this thing. There we go. Phew. It's a big, thick piece. Here we go. That's all we needed. Go tell Ethan thank you. Let's hit the road. Oh, don't forget that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at our fishing location. This is known as Gar Flats. There's a big flat right out here and it has gar on it. Here we got, we have our herring. 
what I'm gonna do. Oh, I just heard one. I'm seeing a lot of activity right out here. When I first pull up to Gar Flats, I always sit for a minute and try to see if there's a certain area that there I see a lot of fish hitting the surface. And right now, I've seen about five hits, literally about 25 feet out this way. So good sign, the gar in the area. I've often found that when it's sunny like this, the gar are super active. When it's overcast, they're not active on the surface. Don't know why, but that just is the way it is, I guess. But anyway, got this nice little fillet here. Let's grab our bobber and split shot and hook. What I have is 15 pound mono, then I have a 25 pound mono leader added to this as well. And then we just have a small octopus hook that we drop in eh, right about like that. Make sure no scales are on the tip of the hook. There you go, I see how shiny that is. Shiny! Uh, <laughs> I've watched Moana one too many times. Anyway, that nice shiny piece of bait will definitely get the gar's attention. What we're gonna do is cast it right out here. Perfect. Hold up guys, I don't see my bobber. It was kind of in the glare of the sunlight dudes dudes we might have a fish wait hold up i'm watching my line but i don't see my bobber i took a look at my phone because my wife messaged me all of a sudden i look up and i'm like where's the bobber i mean my eyesight isn't great but it ain't that bad yeah yeah, yeah. okay it's tightening up that line's tightening up oh he's swimming with it he's swimming with it okay we're gonna let him eat it he just had a good 20 seconds there to eat it check that out look at that She's taking some line. We're gonna haul back here in just a second. Where is she? Dang it! Missed her! Holy cow, she ran all the way sideways. Shoot! Just totally missed it. Oh, here we go. Bite on this one. Bite on this one. It's about time. Come on, baby. Bobber's down, bobber's down. I've got two bobbers out now. I have been at this, y'all, for like an hour and a half. And this is only the second bite. All right, he's eating it, he's eating it. Oh, there we go. Starting to tighten up, starting to tighten up. She's still got it. Still got it, line hasn't quite tightened yet. She's gonna go nuts. There she is. Right there. Tighten that drag up a little bit. She's running my way. She's running this way. Come on. Come on, lady. She's right there. She's right there. She's running right by the boat. She's going to take a run. That's okay. Come on. Come on. Woo, doggy. No, 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 you bomb. Oh, man. Dang it. Ah! Oh, I was not ready for that. I was not ready for come flying out like that. Golly! Here we go, here we go. Bob her down. Bob her down. Hold up. Stopped. No, here he goes. Come on. Did he come off? No, 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 no. He's gonna try to jump. That's what he's gonna try to do. Yeah, run towards the boat. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Stay down, stay. Keep pressure and stay down. Keep pressure and stay down. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Dang it. Dang it. Come on, Mike. Come on. Come this way. No, 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 no. Come here. Come here. Come on, baby. Come on. Be good to me. I just need one. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, shoot. Shoot, that was, that was amateur hour. Yes, yes, let's go. Let's go, we got him. Boom, yes. That is a beautiful fish right there. Oh my heavens. Oh, oh, hallelujah. Oh my gosh, it is so hard to catch these things. We've been at this for like, I don't know, like three, three and a half hours. I've had like a total of, three, four bites. They've been in the area, and now that the evening is starting to set in, the bite started picking up, and this is what we got. Ooh, let's see it, let's see it. Look at those teeth right there. Ooh, 
rows and rows of them. Whew, hopefully that will make a good spear. The jury is kind of out. Um, it really depends on who you talk to as far as um, if Gar, I'm not getting a bite on that one, am I? Dude, I'm getting a bite on this one. Holy cow, it's running. It's running. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, jeepers. Got him. There you go. The bite's on in the evening. <laughs> now we're catching them, of course. Ah, look at that. You're going to run right into the boat. Come here, you. Come here, you. Oh, of course, now I get another one. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> double up. Double up. Now we're popping guard. Oh, jeepers. Ah! Ah! Good grief. You know, we have got the 15 pound mono, then the 25 pound mono leader. That did the trick. Sometimes I'll do 25. Sometimes I'll do even more, but look at that. Look, I can't even actually see the hook on this. So he ate it. I don't know. While we were fiddling with that first fish, I don't know what happened um, or how long he was chewing on that. Whoa. But uh, it's it's like we, we actually gut hooked this one. And uh, that's, that's uh, what I was trying to do. That, the hook is actually not in the gut. It's like right there. But I, we're, we're not reaching in there to grab it. We'll put it that way. So we're just going to cut it. We'll drop her back in. This one's a little bit smaller, but here you go. Now, the gar bite is heating up. A couple of nice fish. I think we'll keep that bigger one. You know what I'm going to do? Actually, we're going to keep this one as backup. Just in case my spear, something goes awry with the head over there. Or I want to change something. What I was getting ready to say was, the jury is out for a lot of people on whether or not gar um, is a good fish uh, to have in your lakes. Uh, especially like here. A lot of the locals I know uh, are like, oh, you want to kill them. Uh, but then obviously there are people on the other side that are like, no, you know, they're great for the ecosystem. You know, everything has its purpose, blah, blah, blah. Which I understand that point of view. However, the gar, I do not think really have any natural enemies. So what will end up happening is, is they just continue to populate and populate and populate and populate with really no check or balance for these fish. So I can understand why people say to kill them as well because nobody's targeting these fish to eat them. I don't think to best of my knowledge, bass or catfish or anything really go after these things. I mean, they have such armor plated skin. If you ever try to cut through these, you need metal shears to just cut through this armor that they have. Uh, so I don't think anything really keeps any other fish, I should say, keeps these fish in check in this lake. So you know what? We're going to keep those perfect, in my opinion, for what we're trying to do. And of course now <laughs> I got fish jumping all over now, but hey, we've conquered the first step in our quest. So that is awesome. Phew! Man, that is a monkey off my back. Ladies and gentlemen, brief break in today's action to give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, the sunglasses. Brand name Skyway Sunglasses. Ladies and gentlemen, I know it's going to happen. You certainly know it's going to happen. If you play around the water enough, eventually your sunglasses are going to end up in the drink. You're either going to be canning balling into the water without even realizing you're still wearing your sunglasses, or you're going to be bent over the boat trying to net a fish, or in my case, quite often losing a fish, and your sunglasses are going to slip right off of your head, right into the icy depths below. But Skyway says no more to waving goodbye to your sunglasses as they slip below the water surface. They have created floating frame sunglasses just for the likes of us. And I know all you fishermen out there are wondering, are they polarized though? Yes, they are polarized. These are polarized as well as these are also polarized. Click on the link in the description below to check out the variety of styles and options that Skyway has to offer and get your hands on some of these sweet polarized sunglasses as well as these floating frame sunglasses. I'm telling you, you're not going to be disappointed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have our gar head. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take 
one of these pieces of bamboo. This actually looks pretty good. Something like that. Yes, that's kind of work. I need that mouth to stay open. Something like, like right about like that. What we're gonna try to do is take a little bit off the end. There we go, like that. Run it out smartly. Oh, there we go. That's cool. Oh, perfect. It's like right into the mouth. Oh, oh, like, like that. Perfect. That's what I want, dude. That's all I need to do. <laughs> Here you go. I think we just made a spear, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see, can I get the mouth to open just a little bit? Oh, there we go. There we go. Ha! Look at that. We have a garhead spear. <sighs> this is a pretty long spear, too. All right, that's probably like, well, let's see. I'm about six feet in the Crocs. It's about an eight foot spear. <sighs> Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Oh, shoot. There goes my head. I got it. We got it back. Hmm. We might need to scare that on there a little bit better. <laughs> ah, all right, we got to stop playing around with this thing. We have to figure out a way to secure it on there a little bit which I think I have the solution actually. I have some wire. There we go. So I got some wire through the Gar's head and that's kind of secured it on there a little bit better. Now what I might have to do though. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Is that it? Let me see, make sure it doesn't go flinging off. Dude, that feels pretty solid. Dude, so this feels pretty solid now. Now we can defeat the Huns. Okay, anyway, we gotta stop playing with this. But this thing is pretty sweet. Look at that. It's actually turning out in my mind how I wanted it to. Now we just gotta go see if we can actually catch some frogs with it. The goal is to try to pin the frogs right in that mouth, right where all those razor sharp teeth are, just to be able to, right, just like that. Check out this glorious evening. Oh, there we go. Look at that. What a beautiful day out here on the lake. It never gets old. It never gets old. It's just so beautiful. And even on a day like today, when it's been rough, or even like the last couple weeks, where it's been rough, and I've just had a really hard time catching fish, I mean, you're out in this. You're not sitting at a screen. You're not watching it on a screen. You're in it. You're doing it. You're on it. Hmm. Anyway, you get what I'm saying. Let's cook a little supper up here on the boat. And then uh, by that time, should be good and dark enough to uh, start getting after these frogs. Got the classic cup noodles going on. Never too cool for a cup noodle. Part of a balanced, healthy, and nutritious lifestyle. I just saw a frog. Well, I saw one right over here and it kind of just kind of dipped down into the grass. So we're gonna go see if he's still there. Spear at the ready. Real nice and easy. I think he's just squatting right there. Oh shoot. Dang it. Strike one. It didn't get him. Dude, that surprises me. Boy, that was about the easiest shot you could get right there, too. Dang. Bingo. There's one right back there. Nice sized one, it looks like. Keep the lights on him. Whew, getting a little windy out here. Yes, look at that. Got him pinned with the jaws. Yes, ha ha. Pinned him with the jaws of the gore. Woohoo! <laughs> Our first froggy. 
<laughs> dude, that was awesome. <laughs> Look at that. Dude, that's a big old frog. Good grief. That's a that's not bad at all right there. The teeth definitely like pinned the frog. It pinned him to the ground and those teeth definitely dug in. But uh, I wasn't able to just like poke him and, and, and you know, like just poke him s solely with the uh, with the, the teeth of that gar. But we got a frog. We got a frog with our homemade gar spear. Awesome, awesome. So we're one for one. First one got away. First one was just such an easy shot, but totally whiffed. But we got the second one. I just stumbled upon one right here. One right here. Dang it, I missed it. Shoot. That time the mouth didn't open up wide enough. Dang it. Swing and a miss. I thought I heard something in the bushes over here. Look, an armadillo. What's that dude? He's like, uh. So what happens now? Nothing, bro. I'm not eating an armadillo today. Only time I've ever seen them during the daytime is after they've become road pizza. All right, little bow, we'll leave you be. That's pretty cool though. All kinds of crazy stuff coming out at night. Guys, I've just spotted a big old toady. But he's gonna be hard to get to. He's way back up in there. I don't know if I got him. I'm gonna leave this bee right there. Let's go in and see. Dudes, I think, oh no, he just got out. Dang it. We did have him. Oh man. I heard a big one over here, like loud ribbons. Guys, it's a big one. My spear broke. Oh shoot. <laughs> I rammed it in so hard, but look at that. Look at that guy right there. <gasps> That's a toad and a half right there. Oh my gosh. Look, the it's just barely hanging on by like a few threads. I like, I jammed it in. It has been, oh, oh there goes the tip right there. Check that out. We caught him with the gore head. Look how big that thing is. Good grief. Oh my gosh. That broke right off. Oh my word. Good grief. I saw the back of the head and I was like, that is a big old frog. So I mean, I just cranked that spear in there. Oh, look at that thing, dude. Dude, that is the prize of the night. That's the biggest one I've seen. That's the biggest one I've seen here in a while, actually. You know, those guard teeth do a decent job. Ooh, ouch. They do a decent job, um, and we've proven that you can catch frogs with the gar head, but honestly, I have, uh, I've missed more than I've gotten this evening. I've missed like four or five frogs. We're going to end the night, I think, with that big one right there. Let's get him in the cooler. Be careful, because he will try to jump out. Oh, oh, oh. Right down there. Ooh. Okay, yeah, you see. Anyway, down there on the ice, we're good to go. Oh my word, that was awesome. If I was using like a regular gig, like I said, I would have probably caught like five or six tonight. Um, but uh, just using that, that, that gar head, those teeth just weren't quite as effective as I thought they would be. Um, they definitely probably puncture the frog, but they're so slippery and they're just so strong that, uh, you just, they almost need to be barbed, and these teeth on these gar uh, are not barbed. That's okay, though. We met the challenge. Let's get on back and uh, get as what little sleep we can with the little bit of night that's left here, and uh, we'll cook some frogs up in the morning.
Maybe not in the morning. Maybe I like at lunch or something. I don't know if I want frog for breakfast. <laughs> There we go. All right, y'all. Welcome back to my house. Say hello to Mr. C. Mr. Crockett, can you tell the masses hello? Uh-oh, getting camera shy. Mr. Crockett, do we have some frogs over here? Wait, where'd they go? Papa's cooler's dirty. Can you pick one up? Yeah, good job, son. Woo-wee! Look at that one. Isn't that a big one? Under the oh, well, can you grab that one too? Uh -huh. Hey, that's a good looking frog. Get that big old chunky monkey. Show him who's <laughs> Oh, what? <laughs> what hey, is that? He just burped it. He burped it? <laughs> oh, let me get the Slim Jim out of the way here. Ooh, that'll be good later. Here, grab my back leg. Just grab my right back here. Look at that guy. Holy jeepers. Can well, that sure is a fine frog. I mean, that's a frog and a half. Here, grab my, grab my leg right up there. Wow. See that? Can you grab by that? Just get, yeah, yeah, there you go. No, oh, good heavens the best. We got frogs on the deck. Look at that, so they got that guy. Just for a size comparison, that was the first one we got. This is typically about the size I see a lot. As you can see, good grief. There's some big ones in there, Mr. C. Mm -hmm. I caught a crawdad. Wait, what did you catch? A crawdad. Oh, what? Let me see. Man, so much fun to be had. What do we do? Oh my goodness! We can you got a nice one! Yeah, you can like eat him. Yeah, you could eat that guy right there. Yeah, oh, he's... Good job, but Bella. But I need some water for him. Oh yeah, I need a little water. That's probably a good idea. We'll send him in there with his rocks. Alright, so we've got our two dead frogs. Do we just have to cut him? Yes, we do. Do you remember how we do this, guys? Uh, you cut his skin off. You gonna eat some frog with me? I'm trying to decide. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys going to eat frog with me? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, oh, I like the enthusiasm, Crockett. Look at that. Is that. That might be one of the biggest bullfrogs Papa's ever caught. I mean, look at the legs on that sucker. Uh, That's right. And then you just take... The skin comes right off. Ew. Ew. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> they said as they laughed. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, he's naked now. <laughs> Uh, Papa's legs moving. Yeah, their legs will still move. It's kind of creepy. A little bit. Ew. There we go. <laughs> I just make a cut right here at the base. Good sharp knife. Look at that. Oh, that's just. What do you think of that, Bella? I got a couple of frog legs. Oh, you know what? I forgot to take the feet off. The feet come off as well. Feet come off. And there you go, Bella. A couple of beautiful looking frog legs right there. Guys, now let's see. I think these frogs are big enough, especially this guy right here. Let's see if we could take the uh, front, the front off, and get some meat off of the front arm there. A little something there, front front leg. Let me cook. Try cooking that up. You hungry now, love? Mm. <laughs> there we go. All right, Bella. Let's rinse these off here first before we do anything else. All right, frog meat is all clean. So what we're just gonna do. I'm gonna drop it right in there in our little Rubbermaid tin. And today we're just gonna use some fish fry seasoning. We're just gonna fry these frog's legs up. Normally on my channel, I like to experiment and do kind of crazy and off the beaten path recipes. But just for today, since we only got two frogs, we're just gonna do the old fashioned deep fried frog legs. But I do have some fun ideas for the future. So stay tuned for future frog videos because uh, I do have some crazy recipes that we'll probably be implementing if we can get more. Now we just wait for our oil to heat up, which it looks like it's just about there. What you got? What is it? Delivery. Delivery? Oh, thanks, bro. Pacific Cooler, dude, this is like my favorite. Thanks, man. Mm. Man, that's refreshing, Mr. C. I don't think I'll ever be too old for a Capri Sun. In fact, I petition now that Capri Sun make these like three times the size, like adult size Capri Suns. I would happily fork over my hard earned money for that. Don't you think, Kroger? Mm -hmm. I agree. Grab a little of our, oh yeah, Mr. C, that's ready to go. All right, stand back, all right? I don't want you to get hit by any flying grease. Shoo, big one going in. Yeah. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. That's the little like hands, the front hands. That big one was so big, the front hand had plenty of meat on it. Looks like it to me. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Nice and dark, crispy frog legs. Yes, please. Oh, now we just let that cool. We tuck in. Hey, yo. <laughs> you want a drumstick? I tell you what, what about if you just take a little bite out of one? Hmm? Just a smidget. Just a little bite. Here you go. I'll hand it to you here. Is it hot? No, it's not hot. It's quite cool. In the words of Gandalf. Bon appetit. Mmm. Oh, man, that is so good. What do you think, baby? It's not bad. Not bad, uh, wait, how big of a bite did you take? Should... Oh my heavens. <laughs> no, it's going back. No, <laughs> no, 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 I'm good. Thank you. Hey, I did it. Yeah, yeah. Well, what do you think? A little chewy. It is a little chewy. I almost wonder, like, people say with, like, turtle, you know, you soak them in, like, a little vinegar, water and vinegar overnight or something like that. I'm almost tempted to try that with the frog legs. Hey, guys. You want to try some froggy frog? Oh. <clears throat> Oh, look at that. Digging in. Mmm. Mm. Is that yummy? Mm -hmm. I agree with you, bro. What do you think, Bella? Yes, I. Mmm. This is awesome. Fresh frog leg. No, y'all are getting to the age here where I'm going to start recruiting y'all. We'll get you guys some gigs. And all three of us go out at night. Papa needs to find a good place I can hunt some frogs around here that has, like, a good quantity of frogs. Or maybe we can go out and get, like... 10, 15 frogs in an evening. I need to make friends with somebody who owns a golf course. See if they'll let me sneak onto the golf course in the middle of the night and hunt down frogs. Golf courses are notorious for having massive amounts of frogs and usually large frogs because they're left undisturbed. Hold up. My cat just rolled up. Poppy. Dave. Poppy. Poppy. Up here. I know you have one eye, but I know you can hear me. Hey, hey. You want some... You want some... Froggy? Oh wait, that's the side she doesn't have an eye on. <laughs> wait, oh wait, no, yeah, hey, 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 there you go. Try some frog? Ooh, that might be kind of yummy. Here, let me sit it there. <laughs> oh man, that's not bad. Oh yeah, nope, we're enjoying that. Even the cat likes a little frog. A little one-eye calico. There you go, girly. Good grief, she's loving that frog. <laughs> it's a treat for everybody today. Well, you too, fam. We met the challenge successfully. The frog is delicious. I would say all in all, very successful trip. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with us the last couple of days. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Thank you, Bella.